It's time again for Tweet of the Week, and this week I am joined by Stacy Adamak, who is our principal of the virtual school. Stacy, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. The virtual school. I'm sure when people <laughs> hear that, they have all sorts of ideas of what that may be. Could you tell us what it actually is? The virtual school is made up of many programs that serve students throughout Frederick County. Some of them are during the school year and also in the summer. Uh, during the school year, we have programs that run at the individual high school sites, and we also have programs that run with us at TJ Middle School in the evenings. Um, we also offer a flexible evening high school um, to students who aren't um, attending one of our high schools at the moment. Um, it involves teachers who meet with students every day, um, sometimes, and then in the uh, school year, they also meet after school or at our school site. So it's not all online learning, it involves meeting with teachers as well. And I know that Flexible Evening High School is always one of my favorite graduation <laughs> ceremonies um, because those are students who do need some of that flexibility from a regular school schedule and I'm so glad that through the virtual school we're able to provide that. But I think your tweet has something to do with teachers, which may have surprised people <laughs> when they, th as you said, sometimes people think online learning removes the teacher from the scene, but you know that's not true. That's not true. Our teachers are very involved in what they offer to students. Uh, just recently, the tweet that I posted was we had about 40 to 45 teachers together in one location um, talking strategically about how we're going to run summer session. A lot of people are winding down as the school year ends, but we're really winding up. Uh, we have just hired approximately 70 staff members to work in 12 different locations to serve our students. We have just over 600 enrollments, which a lot of people are surprised to hear about. So we're in full force running all over Frederick County in the summer. So 600 students, that's a large elementary school or a middle school even. Absolutely. Um, full of students taking courses. And what do you look for when you look for a teacher for virtual school? Well, one of the most important things is obviously a desire to help students be successful, very important. Also, um, the ability to be flexible because when you're working with students in multiple locations, you might have to uh, contact them by text. You may be talking with them on the phone. You may be answering emails and collaborating with parents at different times of the day. So you really need to have a flexible um, stance in your teaching and realize that students are involved in many different things and you're there to support them. So um, also the ability to leverage the technology that we use in ways that will benefit the students and keep parents informed of what's going on. When I talk to students about taking online courses and what they like or what they don't like, mm -hmm. it still comes down to the teacher, the frequency of communication, the kind of support. So I think you picked the best possible tweet to highlight in <laughs> connection with virtual school. And I want to thank you so much for all that you do to make sure our students have that flexible opportunity um, to get them through, whether it be a summer course or do what it takes to walk across that stage in June. So thank you.